Good morning and welcome to Sports Center. I'm Jody Ferguson and this is my co-host Alex Stockfish. Today we're going to be discussing that crazy fight that went down last night. Did you see it? Oh, the one between Pittsburgh and Detroit? Yep. Before we get into that though, I know you played hockey growing up, Jody, and I just wanted your opinion on this. Have you ever seen a woman's hockey fight before? You know what? Oh, yes, actually I have. Only one though. Back in uh, 2013, when it was the pre-Olympic game, there was one between the U.S. and Canada. You're right. Here's a quick look at the fight. Just look at the intensity these female athletes have. I remember that game. I read an article about it, and they talked about how girls will be girls, and how women's hockey is just so wholesome, and there's no checking involved. I also read that. There were some good points in the article about how male athlete culture tends to involve toxic behaviors, bringing up the point of the enforcer role. You know who was a big enforcer? You remember Chris Nyland? Oh, yes, the enforcer for the Montreal Canadiens. I just find it ironic. He only made the NHL because he knew how to fight. Isn't it like women don't even get that right to play in the professional leagues because they aren't allowed to fight? That's right. We brought in two experts to discuss this issue. Please welcome Ashley and Courtney. Thanks for having us, guys. Today we're here to analyze the issue using sociological theories. According to the social le learning theory, violence and aggression are learned behaviors. This is enforced by childhood behaviors. You're more likely to see a little boy fighting than a little girl. Little girls are expected to play house and play with Barbies and that kind of thing, where little boys are expected to play fight and run outside and get dirty and all that stuff. Society is also brought up this way. That's why they accept fighting in male hockey versus fighting in female hockey. Okay, so the next theory we're going to talk about is the conflict theory. With male hockey players being allowed to fight, it draws in a larger crowd and makes the game more exciting. In women's hockey, however, fighting is banned. This ultimately results in women having less media coverage and a smaller fan base due to lack of adrenaline compared to men's hockey. This is a good point, Courtney. Similar to the social learning theory, the interactionalist theory justifies this issue because girls are brought up to be respectful and polite. Jody and Alex discussed this in the pre-Olympic game between Canada and the U.S. This was covered by many news articles and many of the responses were what you'd expect. I'd much rather see them in their PJs having a pillow fight, personally. Ridiculous to call this fighting. Women wear full visors and cages. Bunch of pushing and shoving with idiot American fans chanting, USA, USA, USA in the background. Get rid of the full cages, drop your gloves, and throw a haymaker. Now that is what a fight is. If you listen closely, both teams were speaking lesbonese on the ice. But how are these comments justified? If we were to switch the gender in the story, people would be praising the males and discussing the awesome fight. How is it fair that it's frowned upon simply because it's just females? We decided to test this. We sent the news anchors, Jody and Alex, into the field to perform a social experiment. Here it is. Oh my god. <laughs> So what did you think about our fight? I uh, don't know, I thought it was weird because uh, you guys are girls. <laughs> what about what is, being girls? Yeah, what does that mean for girls? Can't we fight? No, uh, no I don't know. That's why I don't want you to go to hockey because there's no fighting. Okay. <laughs> okay, so what did you think of us fighting? Like, was it feel? uncomfortable? It was weird, uncomfortable, <laughs> and awkward. Okay, what about in girls hockey? If you saw like girls fighting, like, would you think it was like normal to do? Or? No, because it's not allowed. It's not allowed. Yeah. Right? Do you think it should be allowed? <laughs> no. Why? I don't know, I don't want to see girls fight. But what's, okay, say we were guys fighting, like how would it be different for you? I'd probably be hyping it up. Yeah. Like if guys were fighting right now, I'd probably whip out my own phone, put on Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram. <laughs> okay, 